though. Wait, it's not often that you see Blazing Pasta in loser's side, but lo and behold, here we are. Uno looking to take down Beast, who could be going beyond Beast mode, as oh, yeah. the prefix uh, could indicate. And I'm sure Uno's happy, because if, if Pasta beat a six like he usually does, like last match, then if Uno wins this, he would win just to play his brother. So I, I'm sure he's happy about getting a chance to fight Pasta. So if anything, that's just more motivation for him. Absolutely. But eventually the path to grand finals would lead to his brother. So there's something to be said about that. They don't necessarily like playing each other, Uno and 6WX. However, did see Uno beat 6WX, at least in Smash 4, in bracket. So... Uno does have wins over his uh, over his brother. Mm -hmm. Has a win over a PGR player. So that's something to be said about that. Oh, Pokemon yes. Trainer versus Inkling. And give Uno me Uno Memento Beast. while I fix stuff. Absolutely. And so, game number one between these two. Pokemon Stadium 2 will be the setting for this particular dance. There ain't going to be any tangoing. It's going to be all fisticuffs. And now... The jab coming out, power shielded, and then parried at the end. Style points come for Beast. But we ain't playing for bonuses. We are playing for keeps and playing for stocks here in Loser Semis. The jab. And now, Beast and Uno trying to establish dominance relatively even in the opening proceedings. And here we yeah. go. I'm back with you on this one now. All right. So what I missed, tell me. So uh, for me, yeah, for for you right now. I mean, Beast highest finish thus far, I believe, has been uh, what was it, fifth place at a at a code name Bears. Uno, he's been pretty good. Yeah, Uno not a, doing poorly for himself either, but at the same time, still really trying to establish uh, and ground himself in this game. It's kind of a in a character crisis, trying to pick up this inkling. I think Beast got fourth or fifth at Reality Royale, which was a fairly stacked tournament in the upper northeastern PA region. Yeah, also up in, uh, in Harrisburg, wasn't it? No, it was Allentown. Oh, was it Allentown? Yeah, that was an Allentown tournament. Gotcha. Yeah. Go. Shout outs to A Town. A Town. They're a small scene, but you know what? They're pretty strong. You're telling me when you produce players like Beast, Hero, and GWJ. You abs can, and Dave, yeah. Yeah, and Abs, absolutely. Yeah. No, when you're. Uh, when you're producing players of that caliber, yeah. there's something to be said about uh, about your scene. Like I, I, I love that those weeklies there because like I swear there's about like ten or twenty. There's about like you know somewhere somewhere between fifteen to twenty people at their weeklies, and the top the top Ooh. four top five is always like Abs, David, Hero, Beast. It's it's crazy. Uno timing out that up smash perfectly, and. Looking for the, looking for yeah. anything he possibly can just to try to chip on that damage, that nickel and dime damage. And what do I always say? You have enough nickel and dimes, you'll find yourself with a dollar, Summer Hayes. Mm. But will that be enough enough change to you know bring it back in? That's the real question. Hayes. How many nickel and dimes does he have to get to actually close the stock? I mean, have you uh, I, <laughs> I mean, have you been hit with a with a bag full of nickels? It doesn't tickle. Oh, it doesn't tickle indeed. Don't ask me how it I know this. That wasn't a joke, okay? That happened. And now it's... Damn. Yeah, no, it wasn't pretty. My brother was a jerk. Anyway, Damn. down throw. <laughs> we heard it for your first, folks. <laughs> down air, excuse me, Beast yep. with the dunk once again. And there goes Beast's favorite button, the A1. Oh, looking for that, uh, looking for the Booyah brush, not finding it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Beast is going to try to live a little longer. Tax some extra credit with Zard by switching out to bit of someone who's going to survive some more hits. But Roller, that's not matter. brush, booyah! Uno gets stock number two. And I know you don't. You're not liking that. Uh, you're not feeling that name necessarily. I'm <laughs> not quite feeling it, but you know what? I can ride with it. I can ride for now. If it's gonna stick, I didn't like hoo ha at first, but you know what? It it, it grew on me eventually. I mean, yeah, growing on you. I, I, I mean. I mean, moles grow on people. It doesn't make them good, but... <laughs> That's the truth. Oh, man. Oh, my God. So this is 69%. 
over. Uh, and then to the left, we have Joel, who's got at almost kill percent. I was a kill percent, but he's hard, so he's going to live a little longer. And now, the closing down that speed so quickly, not letting Beast get set up with this Zard whatsoever. Mm -hmm. He's sitting at 142%. You got to think that maybe the uh, the switch over to Ivysaur would be uh, would be called for here just because, I mean, he's not able to get anything going as Charizard and Uno with that back throw. He'll draw first blood and take it to 1-0. And you know, that was good composure by Uno because, like, when you're in that situation, with between the Inklings and what's it called, the Inklings and like a character like Zard, where you can die so early, it's yeah, Uno took that. So, you know, it, it's hard to, to keep yourself composed because you know Inklings have trouble with killing. You know that just one good hit from Zard, all of a sudden you can be off stage, you can be in a bad position. It it's, it can't be pretty. It's not. But you know what? Uno made it happen. Um, we might. I think Stu's in the bathroom. So, you, like, if you want to hop on, you can. But he's gonna come like right back. I, I kind of do. If you only, mm, I can't. All right, I might. And here we go. So here we are at a game two. Beast. Coming in strong, coming with a squirrel to begin with. Gonna, ooh, got him in an edge guard situation. But you know what? Why am I worried? Because it's Inkling. And Inkling is notorious for being one of the best characters off stage. At least getting back to the recovery. So, here we are. Beast is just tacking on percent. We talked about nickel and dime damage earlier, but he just gave him the whole sock right there. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> that down air spike just gonna take it. And you know, he's got a. Beast's got a really nice stock lead right here. He's got a nice stock lead. I say that now, but, you know, Uno's not having it just yet. Uno could easily... Uno brought this back really quick, actually. So, this quick percent... Oh, that was so smart on Uno's part. He went low. I think he was expecting uh, Beast to go low and try to catch the Vine Whip recovery, but it just wasn't having it. So, here we are. Back to neutral. And... Uno's got to close out stocks fast or else uh, Ivysaur's going to rack up momentum again. It won't be pretty for him. And here we are. Back to stage he goes, but nowhere to be found because it is even stocks once again. And welcome back, Stu. Thank you so much. And Squirtle, I mean, not really sure if this is the... If this is the play here, I mean, it's good for chipping on that damage, not so much for knockout power. And indeed, Beast realizing that, going to the Ivysaur with the up air. 119, not going to kill quite yet, though. Oh, he had him in a bad situation before. If he can just get it again, it might be curtains for that stock. But we'll have to see. Both players at high percent on their second stock right now. Whoever takes this is going to have a good lead coming into that next stock. Oh, my. And... Dropping the curtain on that second stock. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ivysaur. I mean, throwing him out there. I, and I swear, I said cur I said the curtains remark, only because I've been commenting with you for like an hour now. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's so funny. No, it's I just, mean, you got you got to think it'd be uh, it'd be curtains for us all if it weren't for Venetian blinds. Uh, I don't get the reference. I'm sorry. No, it's really just a really just a statement. It's a bad joke about windows. Oh, nice. Yeah, fair enough. I'm all about Windows. I look at them every day. Yeah, fair enough. I'm, I'm a Mac guy myself. Anyway. Oof. The jab. All right, here we go. All right, that, but both that's players. A, that's a total lie. I'm not a Mac guy. <laughs> me neither. Yeah. All right. Bo oh, Doesn't my God. Stop me from having one. I'm about to say stocks are even, well but down. Uno's got him on the ropes. Off the stage he goes. Oh, trying to read that forward Ooh. smash, getting a little antsy. Oh, and that's going to take. Not no, quite no, yet, the flare blitz. That was that almost was so a uh, a highlight reel kill, but sitting at 123% mm. instead is Beast. Down smash going to get him into disadvantage. He's going to have to refill, however, Will Uno. And Beast is so smart, knowing just when to use his side beast. It might be a brain dead, it might appear like a brain dead move, but you know what? Beast is calculated when he, when he lands his mark on those. 
you got to measure it out, and indeed Oof. he landed. He's going to have to find his mark once again. Yo, these jabs. 153 oh with the I, splatter shot. Mm -hmm. All right, Bathroom ain't going to kill. I, I I thought it might because of the added ink, but you know what? I'm dead wrong. Oh, boy, you know, speaking of dead. It's, uh, it's, it's good when you know how to use that neutral B. I mean, it does have a little bit of stopping power as well with that uh, wall of ink just covering you. Mm. And now. And, oh, my God. Uno is playing so dangerous. Uh oh That's and gonna there's take the it. brush. Booyah, says Uno, and he's going to go 2-0 on Beast. Well, this could be Beast's last game if he does not do something soon. He needs to bring it back with something in this game. I don't know if we might see a counter pick, but I'm pretty sure he's just a, he's a Pokemon trainer solo main. Yeah, uh, I, that, that, is the, that is the question. We have seen Beast go... Uh, go to Fox in in the past games. However, Uno is up dos a cero on Beast. And now mm. Beast is going to have to find a, a way out of this particular situation. Dos a cero indeed. Oh, I mean it. Oh, my God. I just murdered an entire language. I'm sorry if I offended everybody who's watching. Adios, mil. Adios, mil. <laughs> oh, man. And here we go. I really wonder what the counter pick is going to be here coming out from Beast. And uh, indeed, it's going to be the Pokemon trainer sticking around for one more right. encore. But will this be the curtain call? Right. Is the question. So he br he brought it back to his home turf, Pokemon Stadium, for Pokemon Trainer. All the Pokemon are happy now. And here we are. I oof, already at the ledge. They played their parts up until now, but will this be the third and final act? of this loser's semifinal with Uno riding off into the sunset, or will Beast, I mean, will he have to don the black hat, play the bad guy in Uno's play here? For sure. For that back air, not finding it. It really makes you wonder there. Because right now, like. Right now, all I, the momentum on the other side. I'm honestly a little surprised you haven't seen a, a character swap from, from Beast's part. But you know, he hasn't been put in too bad of disadvantage so far. But there it is, like, before, right as I say it. He's going to switch to Ivy Sword, maybe rack up a little bit more kill potential here. Yeah, and uh, he did well to pile up that damage with the Squirter. We'll see him be become a more mm -hmm. complete Pokemon trainer. Oh, and yeah. oh, the up smash beautifully executed Yo. by Beast, and he will draw first blood here. He's only sitting at 68%. Mm -hmm. This is doable for Beast. Oh, absolutely. Like, if Beast can zone him. Oh, nice, nice job finally making Thank that. You. And if Beast can just zone him out, then. Well, what's Inkling to do? Inkling does, as fast as Inkling is, Inkling does kind of struggle against zoning characters, especially ones that can live for a long time. You're right. However, when they get in, they get in hard. They do have the throws, which wish to uh, render any Zard useless. And, of course, the speed as well. The Splat Bomb will connect. Not a whole lot that Zard could do. And that'll close out stock number one. And Uno at 32%. Could be bringing this right back. And just like that, we're at about even with Uno in a slight advantage. And, man, the combo potential of Ankling just, I mean, could very well be unparalleled in this game. It really is. It, re it really is, I said, as I yawned on stream. All right. It's all good. So. No, hey, man, it's, a, it's, a, it's tiring, man. This it is. is a, commentary is not for? easy. How long? Oh, my God. Is it eight? Yeah, oh, it's it 8.30. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, man. Time flies. Oh, my God. Almost as much as these stocks will fly. Oh, yeah. I hear it's supposed to snow tomorrow or today. Oh, 10 o'clock? All right. Oof. Yeah, I hope to be on the, I, I'm hoping to be on the road by then, which I think we should be. Did it. Okay. All right, so we might have some snow bringing bringing us in here, but you know what? Weather, regardless, I am staying here for for it all. There we go. You're actually, a trooper, Summer Hayes. Actually, I can't say that. I'm staying here as long as my ride's staying here. Fair <laughs> so I can't say that. Also, and we're just neglecting the fact that these lived to 200, and like 8%. 15 percent. Yeah. Yeah, before the throw. So, all right, he's gonna come back strong. Going immediately to Ivy Store right there. Just wants to get his zoning game. Wants to get the kill confirms. You know, he, I have not really seen him like use Squirtle all that much in this matchup, I got to say. Yeah, no, he was doing uh, he was doing well with it before, piling on that damage. He finally gave him a Squirtle that Uno was forced to respect, and it gave him the advantage ever so slightly. 
However, Uno taking mm. on two successive stocks before the dunk from Beast. This is not over yet. I swear, like, both Beast and Dan the Man are so good at timing that. Like, I, I know the move is pretty easy it, uh, in, like, layman's terms. But, you know, there's the catch and recovery like the squids, that's a two-frame right there. So, yeah. kudos to them for catching that. Also, and another oh. one! Beast brings it back with the down air and going beyond beast mode indeed. Joel, he ain't done yet. He is not a player just take things lying down. As you can see there. All right, we just 2-1. We got a game. Absolutely, and all of a sudden, this has become a set as he strikes his stages. Uh, what are you expecting from Uno? I mean, where does he want to go here? Because now he has two stage counter picks with which to work. And it's true. All right, we got music counter picks, though. So. All right, and going to going with the music counter pick as well. That's Uno's. Uh, that's Uno's meta game, man. Oh yeah, well, his brothers like that too. Oh yeah, for sure. They're both about that music counter picks. Hey, you know, it's uh, the Alexander family musically inclined. What can you say? Exactly. Exactly. And here we are on FD for the counter pick. F uh, final destination indeed mm -hmm. for game number four. If Beast can bring this back. Now, what do you like? The I do like this uh, for Inkling. It's uh, going to be a punch in the face contest and maybe it nullifies some of Ivysaur's uh, strengths and we uh, nullify some of Ivysaur's strengths. However... Uh, perhaps you have something to say about that. Um, I feel like for this stage, I feel like it's gonna definitely help assist Uno on catching the landings. Cause the most we time, mo most of the time, the percents at which we see Inkling kill is with the when he's with Zard at like super high percents, and Beast is forced to just make it back in some sort of way. I feel like if anything, this stage might help him actually like catch Beast's landings way more often. So, you know what? I, I say this is an all right counter pick. All together. You can tell he's confident in his ability to do so, just throwing out those splat bombs, counting on him being there and holding him in place for that one. And that's a, a very pink Charizard, a neon pink Ooh. at that. Yo, that. That's not the average color. You're not dealing with the average color. You're dealing with enhanced pink. Oh, absolutely. It's, a, it's like a hot pink. And there you go. Well... Hot or not, too hot to trot indeed for Final Destination. Too not hot too hot to for trot. Nothing, nothing too hot for Charizard, however. He will take stock number one in this game number four. And now Uno looking for a way to respond. Could very well do so soon with the splat roller and the up air. However, Charizard's a hefty boy. Mm, here we go. Once again, he is Zard. He's at 155. He needs to try to find his landing, and he just can't do it. Indeed, the blaster going all the way up views from the FD mm. They're not pretty as you can oh, see yeah. but I'm sure it's cool. not it's not nice looking down at that blast zone looking up and just seeing uh seeing inkling right there yeah oh look it's my death that's oh nice. man that's a kill in the yeah that's cool eh, all right Nito. anyway Nito. the dash attack breaks it in and the splat bomb and again got caught it by started it. You have to respect those bombs, man. They don't always hit, but it tells you exactly where you can't go or right. that or you have to shield. All right, Beast is finally out of disadvantage right here. And into advantage he goes, Ooh. takes him on the ledge, almost to traps him. him. Oh, I saw that. Oh, I saw that for sure. Yeah, no, Beast, this is a revitalized uh, Joel Veras that we were seeing mm -hmm. here. Oh and the brush comes God. out. Just, you know, hey, raw F smash, why not? Oof. I really thought Beast was going to be safe with the switch out there, but apparently not. Oh, and the blaster of fully inked Charizard will die off the top of that oh. just like that. Beast, once again, on his tournament stock, he's going to have to conjure up something special here, one, Summer Haze. Once again, the landings on FD are not favorable for for Beast. This might have been a good counter pick for Uno here. you got to think maybe oh, forward smash gets him off. Makes you wonder stage. what Uno's ink looking at right now, because he that was a lot of jabs coming out, and a lot of ink go, coming out too. All right. At 134, he needs this kill and he needs it fast. However, sitting at 83%, Ooh. it plays into the hands of Uno as well. It's a larger target with which to connect. I feel like this is a kind of an early switch on on Beast's part to already go to the Zard. 
Ooh. Yeah, and sitting at He's in a corner already. Well, the up smash will take it, so he might consider switching out. However, he's oh, sitting no, at he a thought, He thought about it for a second. He delayed himself, but you know what? He said, I can get something out of this. Yeah, he, he grab into the back here. No, goes for the fair instead. He's still off the side of the ledge. This is good for Beast. He's trying to go for the backer. You know this is what he wants right now. 60%. This is uh, this is ours bread and butter. Uno, can he close this out? He's sitting at 79. This is where it gets scary here, Summer Hayes. The only thing Beast wants is a backer. This is the only thing he wants. Neutral air, but he gets oh, buried do by it. the roller. No. Oh, my. He got up at 168. Mashes out. Uno could not capitalize in time. The, the up, up smash. smash. Beast, somehow, some way. He's got the magic touch in game number four, and all of a sudden, we're going to game five. He's looking nice. Yeah, no, he is, uh, Beast has a way about him of coming back, and this loser semifinal is becoming a marathon. Twice we have seen Beast on his tournament stock, and twice we have seen him take two consecutively and game number five this loser semi-final it will be the final destination for one of these two players will it be allentown's beast or montgomery county's uno it's time to settle this that was clutch as fuck i just gotta say like <laughs> nice stuff the beast right there gonna be taking it also i would say that this counter we're also looking at the, at the fd counter pick once again i gotta say i like it i i think even though he lost I feel like Uno just got outplayed, and if he can bring himself back into this game, then this counter pick is good for him. So, I'd be inclined to agree with you, Summer Hayes. And now Uno, he's gonna have to deal with. Uh, he's gonna have to deal he's with some with all added this. pressure here. He's dealing with some Berries up, right now. and then Booya with the brush, and that's once again taking stock number one. He's only suffered 40 points worth of damage. Mm -hmm. With the potential for more, oh, well parried, but uh, does well to get out of that particular situation and start fresh. <laughs> However, the That's fl funny. F raw flare blitz, absolutely nuts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, hit Man. him with a smash four and a half. Oh, my God. Oh, that up be off the top as he was getting comboed. Yeah, that's just going to take it. That delete stocks. That's still strong. Mm. Roller comes out. Doesn't land on anything. And all of a sudden, this is scary for Uno right here. Got him at the ledge. Hits him with a side B. Off of the jab lock. Confirm. Oh, my God. As soon as I saw the two jabs will come out, I knew he was looking for that. Oh, my God. One one thing about Zard is I would not underestimate him at low percents either. Do not sleep on his nair. All right. So, and now, and now one more stock for Beast to take. He's sitting at 146 percent. We don't know what that is. And now, at 166 percent, down smash will take it. And now, one stock to give for each of these combatants. What a set we have witnessed here. Uno asserting his dominance the first two games. Beast responding right back. Like. And now, down smash. And now. And now, oh my gosh, Beast, he took it. My, oh my, and Beast somehow, some way, pulls off the reverse 3-0. Yo, that was, a, that really was a reverse 3-0. Ivy Sword Downer is fifty nine ninety nine. Oh my! It I mean really that's. Is.